And when we're in Berlin, we also have to talk about the Cold War. And what you see in the background is a part of the original Berlin Wall at a memorial site. And here I have a student, Cody Huber, who is a, a freshman and also studying German at Randolph Mason, who will tell us about the wall. As he said, I'm Cody Huber, and yes, this is the original Berlin Wall. Um, after World War II, Germany and Berlin were both divided into four sectors, the Russian sector, the American sector, the British sector, and the French sector. And in 1949, there was a London conference with uh, Great Britain and America, and they put their two zones together, and then they talked to France, and they put their three zones, three zones together. So now we have the three zones versus the Russian zone, so we're getting some tension going. And then we had a couple years of that, and then um, it was very divided. Uh, the West was very different from the East, so a lot of the East Germans were moving over to West Germany. And the Russians didn't like this because they needed the population here in East Germany, in East Berlin. So in 1961, they started, overnight, they put up a wall. It, was, it started out with just barbed wire and rubble and whatever they could find. And it actually surrounds Berlin, West Berlin, not just cut, cut through Berlin. And um, there were four, four stages of the wall. The first one was just barbed wire. And then the second one, a couple days later, in 1961, was uh, they put some concrete blocks up. And then the third one was uh, a couple years later in the late 60s, they put up um, more heavy duty concrete blocks that were higher, like more like this one. This was the fourth stage where they had, uh, the, they had uh, the full wall with the thing on the top, so even if you got to the top, it's really hard to climb over that. And many places in Berlin have a very extensive wall with a no man's land such as this one. You can see there, that's the inner wall over there, and this is the outer wall. So even if you got at this wall, you'd still have to get over the inner wall, and by that time there would surely be a Soviet guard who would be stopping you. So was, once they had the wall completed in the mid-70s with the fourth stage like this, it was really hard to get across. And that's pretty much the history of the Berlin Wall.